Have us up, y'all. Top of this D about to react to this event by Jamar. It's titled It's Not Looking Good for Dylan Danis. Damn, he already got his ass whooped, and now something else is coming out. Maybe this has to do with uh, the lawsuit because Logie and his woman are still suing him, I'm pretty sure. So maybe this has to do with that. I don't know. Let's see. Let's watch. We are now a month removed from the extremely underwhelming fight between Logan Paul and Dylan Dennis, where basically nobody won as Dylan made a mockery of the entire thing, only throwing around nine punches the entire time and making a total clown of himself in the process after talking big time smack for months on end. Logan, on the other hand, might have gotten the official W, but he was literally in the ring with a boxing dummy an immobile target that stood there getting punched in the face who he could not knock out despite being twice his size. In general, this was a pathetic event that still sold over 1 million pay-per-view buys. Sheesh. In my opinion, this fight kind of signifies the real end of the hype okay. around the influencer boxing scene, which has quickly become much more of a circus than anything resembling entertainment. And the craziest thing to me in this whole situation is that Dylan, oh, that who had this bad reputation for years of ducking fights, had essentially finagled his way into being viewed as the people's champ. I mean, with so much heat being thrown Logan's way over the last year, all Dylan really had to do was show up and compete, maybe get a few good shots in, and I feel like he would have still earned a lot of respect. But when he showed up and acted like a buffoon the entire time trying to get these memeable moments, it's like he threw all those people standing behind him away. And even after this guy made such an arse of himself, he is still He's trying to continue to troll on Twitter and oh it's gotten God. to a pretty pathetic know, place. Know. It's like that meme where the guy's trying to enter the training facility and his car no longer works. Immediately after the fight, Dylan was already coping, saying that pussy ran for 18 minutes minutes and while logan paul could have been more aggressive in this fight with dylan just standing there with his arms up the entire time i just think he was so concerned with getting not knocked out that he did not want to leave any room open for chance but based on the power it seems like dylan's punches were packing i would say there was an absolute zero chance that logan was going to get slept here unless he just has a glass jaw and apparently the entire fight card as a whole was the highest selling pay-per-view card of the entire year, even outselling Ryan Garcia versus Tank Davis. Either way, he goes on to brag about this saying it's the Dylan Danish show. Like this video right here kind of sums up the Dylan Danish show. I know I'm gonna knock him out. I don't think he's ready for what I bring. <laughs> like I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. You are an easy fight. He's taking it so you think you're gonna win? Yes. It's like a bad seventh grade basketball school. Okay, so you think you're not gonna look it out? Of course, I'm gonna kill him, bro. Dan is just getting a touch call, really. Right there, swing it as he And if you beat Logan, right? Not if. What? You know what's weird about boxing? It's so easy that you feel like you're not doing anything. I don't think he forgives Dylan Dennis anymore. I don't think he's going to It's this moment, I'm gone. You know, he's not, he's not a real fighter. <laughs> <laughs> the main thing I don't understand at the end of it was how Logan did not knock this man out. And in this situation, that's really what everyone wanted to see, right? Was someone get KO'd? Dylan even went on to Piers Morgan's talk show, and Logan claims that Piers violated this man. You landed nine punches in six rounds. Yeah. I mean, but the thing I mean, that's was, not great. It's because he was running, though. Ian McConnor was saying it. He, he was running. He and was he threw more fights at the end with the security guys. Oh, he was a handicap <laughs> the whole time. He still, he still beat. Hey, he beat me in a boxing fight. Right. You know, so he beat me in an MMA fight. But even that's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? Kevin. No. Nah. And here's where Logan really starts cooking Dylan during one of his uh, uh, WWE, WWE events. WWE? That he got dropped by his fight league. So that means not only did I make him lose the fight, I made him lose his job. Sucks to be that guy. Now I will say when it comes to WWE and Logan's whole impact on that scene, he is absolutely winning in that regard. The fans of WWE just love him. I think he recently became like the new champion. He fought that man Rey Mysterio, apparently saved his life. And I think that is the one thing that really keeps Logan's reputation afloat and might allow him to escape all these various situations, all these landmines that he's ran over the last couple of years. And he's going to ride off like Dr. Eggman after the explosion. We also hear have Logan apologizing to his fiance for even taking the fight in the first place with Dylan. Lied in the build up when I said uh, I didn't regret choosing him as a as a partner. Why do you regret? Why do you regret? I'm eternally sorry for Nina. 
I'll spend the rest of my life apologizing if I have to for putting her through that kind of torment. It's just, it's it's inhumane what he did. And, 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 and she'll hold him accountable, but this is my life. I dragged her into this social media fight bullshit. She did not sign up for this. Exactly. I mean, she did, she did, of course, but she didn't She didn't know, and neither did I. I don't think anyone knew the extent to which he would take things. No, no fight is worth all that. organization or promotion has ever seen this type of bill. This is, this is gnarly. I mean, Logan talking about inhumane when he literally went out there and filmed that body is a little bit crazy. But you know, the lead up to this fight with him and Dylan definitely weighed in on his personal relationship. I mean, you could even see it after the fight, after cuts. Logan won. He was trying to profess his love to his girl, and she was like nowhere to be found. She had ran out of the ring. And in response to that video, he's still talking. He says, I'm not done yet. Should have killed me when you had the chance. And one of the main things that he's been doing now, other than trying to continue to troll Logan, is pretty much begging for a shot to fight in the UFC. Here he says, I'm ready to fight Dana White. Let's do this. Next, he says, we're about to make a lot of money, Dana White. Here in this video, he even claims that he would retire altogether if the UFC doesn't give him a chance. You want to fight a woman? Who is Dana White? I don't care who it is, just give sure. me what. They have to do it. I, I, I would, I would be too. shocked if they don't do it. If they don't do it, then I'm going to retire and then I'm, I can just Oh, really? Chill. Yeah, I can just chill. And this guy right here, I mean, I respect him as a journalist. His name is Ari or something like that. But with that being said, he has been riding his meat like no other man I've ever seen. EFL one. Oh, no, sorry, I don't want to. They're really? Yeah, don't You'll want retire? Yeah, I don't, I don't You've never been more notorious. Exactly, so go me in the UFC. Oh, yeah. No, but if it doesn't work out, retire? Yeah, retire. I don't need I don't need the money. I'm good. You don't? No, I'm chilling. I made enough money on the Logan money. fight. Just the one before. fight? We made a lot of money, trust me. So, you should have got pay per view back in. I know. <laughs> so, what do you want me to do? Yeah, I think that Dylan definitely needs the money. And these type of tweets are just downright pathetic. He says, the real main attraction, the undefeated sex symbol, We'll run this whole game soon. At UFC, at Dana White, isn't ready for this level of skill and entertainment. I mean, we saw what happened last time he jumped into a ring, dude. So Look like you were ready to take Logan Paul in what a whole different type of way. Also, why the it. fuck is he out here wearing my grandma's pants from the Dollar Tree? And I guess at that same event where he had taken that picture, someone spotted Logan with his wife. And it's just like, dude, you cannot be talking like this after the performance you put on. He says... I'm in the same section, better hide you little bitch and you little hoe. People are saying that it's him when it comes to Logan Paul, yeah I'm obsessed with it. And the major thing is like, dude, you had your chance to show what you could do, you had your chance to whoop his ass, and you didn't do it, so now you should really just stop talking. Exactly. And it's just getting to this weird level of obsession, he says, that doesn't look like Nina, buddy. Thought she was the love of your life, and then it's just Logan standing just next to some random woman. He even tries to get Adam-22 in on the action like he had done before. When talking about their new cuck reality show, he says, heard Logan and Nina doing the next season. So it just don't hit the same. It he retweets out this photoshopped image of Logan and says, Dylan, wife. Like, I don't even like Logan, so but Dylan, weird. you already showed yourself to be a one-trick pony. And you're still just trying to keep it going. I guess as Logan was leaving that UFC match, he had people outside chanting Dylan's name. I hear one person, not people. Okay, two. To which he replies, I love you all, that bitch. And then in his most pathetic post yet, I can't even show you guys the full thing, but he says, I run the MMA, and it's a picture of him in the back of one of these clubs where women get paid to take off their clothes, and the woman is shaking her ass behind him. Like, dude, no one wants to see you so compare cool. yourself to a fictional character like Scarface again. You took your one chance at redemption and completely squandered it. You were the one man that really maybe could have done some serious damage to Logan's career once and for all. And you just did not cash in. So no one wants to hear you talk no more. Exactly. And I do think that he will get a crack at the UFC at some point. At the end of the day, Dana White just loves money too much. And he knows that that fight will actually sell. But until he gets in there and actually someone up, absolutely no one wants to see the antics. And you can't just keep doing the stuff you were doing before that last fight. Y'all let me know what you guys- I'm not done with this man. I don't want to hear nothing else about him. He is so fucking corny. The fact that you're still trying to talk shit when you got your ass beat, it don't matter if Logan was running or whatever the fuck, you know. None of these excuses matter. You lost. Your face was fucked up. You you lost, and they're suing you, so you're gonna probably lose in court too and have to pay the money. You just lost all the way around. Let it go. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you wanna watch, and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!